Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this new video, beta, we will be studying about the physiological features, right? In the previous video, I had told you that we have studied all the general characteristics of the phylum Ashke elements, right? So in this video, beta, we will be moving forward with the physiological features of the phylum Ashke helminths. So in the previous video, I have told you that Ashke helminths can be called with different names, round worm. So what is the reason that they are known as round worms? Because beta, when we have seen them, when we cut them, what do we observe? That in their cross section, they appear circular. In their cross section, when they appear circular, that is the reason their name is given as a round worm or also known as a nematoda. Right? Now, beta, in this new physiological features uh, video, we will be discussing all the features like the previous ones. Right? So, let's begin with their digestive system. Okay? So, beta, the digestive system here is complete. Okay? The digestive system here is complete. Why is the digestive system here is complete, beta? Because now it is having two openings. Right? Tube within tube, body plan, is called tha. In the previous video, we had studied the tube within tube, body plan. That means the digestive system here is complete. An extracellular digestive system. What is the meaning of this? That digestion takes place outside the cell. Digestion takes place outside the cell. That is the reason it is known as an extracellular digestion because it is taking place outside the cell. Now, let me just make some space here. A very, very important feature here of this phylum is it is having a muscular pharynx. It is having a muscular pharynx. So muscular pharynx is a very very important feature or you can say it is a characteristic feature of what? Ashke helminths. Now what is this muscular pharynx doing beta? It is helping in sucking the food. Helps in sucking the food. Is mainly responsible for sucking the food in Ashke helminths. Right? Then, beta next is very very important the muscular pharynx part. Okay, just underline it. Next is a respiratory system. Beta respiratory system is absent. That means a respiration takes place through their general body surface. General body surface. Then next circulatory system is absent, but there is a present of silomic fluid. There is a fluid beta. What is the name of that fluid? Silomic fluid which is present in the silome. And if it is present in the silome, it is helping in the process of circulation. So main, the thing, important thing is here that they do not have a circulatory system. But instead of that, what do they have? They have a silomic fluid inside their silome, which is helping in the process of circulation. Fine. Next comes the excretory system beta. So now here, very very important, what is rennet cell? They have rennet cells beta. So what are rennet cells? Rennet cells beta, they are H-shaped cells. What are they? They are H-shaped cells, right? And they have a pore. Rennet cells kya hai beta? They are special cells which are present in the excretory system of Ashke helminths and they are H-shaped cells. This is the name, this is the cell and this is the shape of the cell. So what is this beta? This thing which I have drawn, this is the excretory pore. Excretory pore. Tube, this lumbi hai beta. This longer version is the excretory tube, and this portion is the excretory pore. Okay, this is the excretory pore. Now, important function here is that beta these rennet cells, they are X-shaped cells. They have an opening through which the excretion takes place. Now, what is this opening? This opening is beta excretory pore. 
But where is this excretory pore present? This excretory pore is basically present in the excretory tube, which is popping out of the rennet cell and it is basically helping in what? Excretion. Okay, this is the total function of rennet cells. Fine. Let me just erase this. Make sure you are drawing these diagrams, writing the important things which I am writing on the board. Okay, whatever additional things I write, I erase them. So, important features, everything you need to write. Then the nervous system, beta, it has a double ventral solid nerve cord and along with that it also has a nerve ring. Nerve ring is a very important feature because the rest of the phylums they have a nervous network, a diffused network of nerves. But here what is happening beta? They have a double ventral solid nerve cord along with the nerve ring. Then sensory structures. Now what are these sensory structures? Other phylums they had tentacles, right? They had tentacles, right? Now in them, what is the sensory structure? Beta, yaad karo. Sealant rata mein. Unke paas kya hota hai? Balancing structures bhi hota hai. Statocyst. Right? It was a sensory structure there. Along with the tentacles. Here what is there? Amphids and phasmids. Now what are these? Amphids and phasmids kya hote hai beta? Beta, amphids and phasmids, they are the chemoreceptors. What are they? The chemoreceptors. And what do they do beta? The chemoreceptors help in detecting the help in detecting the chemicals the chemicals present in Ashkehelmens chemicals present in Ashkehelmens. So amphids and phasmids, they are both chemoreceptors beta which help in the detection of chemicals present in the Ashkehelmens. Then reproduction. Now what happens here? In reproduction beta, the sexes are separate. That means unisexual. Okay. So male and female, they are separate in this. Fine. In case of reproduction here, what you will say that the male and the female here is different. Right, they are not hermaphrodite. It is known as what? What is the specific term given to it? It is dioecious. Let me write it down. It is dioecious. It is dioecious in nature. Okay, fertilization here, beta is internal, development is direct or it can also be indirect. Okay, so direct development takes place in, I will let you know the example, it is loa loa, loa loa, also called as the eye worm, also called as the eye worm, fine. Now, but the sexes are separate, I am drawing a diagram, you also draw it side by side, similar diagram is given in the NCRT also, okay, NCRT also has a diagram but we will still draw it. So that you get a practice of how to draw and how to identify while drawing a particular diagram. How to identify them, how to side by side note down the points that you need to write in the paragraph form when you are writing an answer. So I will be drawing a male Ascaris. Okay, Ascaris is what Peter? It is a round worm. Okay, Ascaris is the common round worm. And here I will be drawing a female Ascaris. Okay, a male Ascaris and a female Ascaris. And we will denote the differences between them. Okay. So this is a male Ascaris. And this is a female Ascaris. Okay. So first difference beta is that this one, the male Ascaris beta, it is shorter 
or you can say it is smaller in length but the female scarus here beta it is longer in length next the posterior tail beta here the posterior tail is curved right while in the female beta the posterior tail is straight posterior tail is straight now last point cloaca cloaca is present in males and in females cloaca is absent okay cloaca here will be absent there is a little bit of of a tiny cloacal structure which is present here okay now what is this cloaca so cloaca beta it is a chamber with three openings it is a chamber with three openings first is of the elementary canal first is of the elementary canal second of the reproductive canal second is of the reproductive canal and third is the excretory canal third is the excretory canal so the three canals they have the openings here in the chamber known as the cloaca okay so this is done now let me write the examples for all of you let me just erase this one thing okay all of you just note this down okay that cloaca is in chamber which is having three openings one for the elementary canal reproductive canal and your excretory canal okay next comes the examples first will be scarus first is ascaris second is abusheria abusheria third is enchylostoma enchylostoma and the last one will be rhabditis rhabditis this is the common around worm this is the common round worm usheria is a filarial worm filarial worm enchylostoma is a hook worm these are the common names and then rhabditis is free living this is just a characteristic feature that it is free living now ascaris is what it is what diagenic or monogenetic it is monogenetic it is monogenetic in nature that means it requires only one host to complete its life cycle fine diagenetic means it requires two host and monogenetic means one host okay so that one host will be what beta it will be humans human beings and it is present in our small intestine fine now the next point here will be beta it molds four times molding means the shedding of the skin it is molding four times okay first time in the soil second and third time in a lungs and the fourth time beta in the small intestine okay this is how it is done then wisheria beta is is a diagenetic worm it is a diagenetic that means it requires two host the primary host you will tell me now 
which one is the primary host of Vishuddhya and which one is the secondary host of Vishuddhya? Yes, the primary host. What will be the primary host of Vishuddhya, beta? Primary host is human beings, and secondary host is what? Think about it. Primary host is human beings. And the secondary host is the mosquito. Which mosquito? Culex. The female culex mosquito. The female culex mosquito. It is the what? Secondary host. Fine. This is not very very important but nothing beyond will come after this in your neat examinations. Fine. This is the best part we have covered, this is the ash ki helmets, we have covered each and everything, right? Now, any doubt regarding the diagram, regarding anything which we have covered in this video, beta, you can please put down in the comment section, I will clear it up as soon as possible, right? So, share this video as much as possible, click the like button, beta, of every video if you are watching, subscribe to my channel, share this as much as possible and stay tuned for the upcoming videos as this chapter is going to become more and more interesting day by day as we move ahead with this five months. Right? So stay tuned. Till then, take care, Bita. I'll see you guys in the next video.